Millions of people are heading to the beach this holiday weekend, and some states let drivers take their vehicles on the beach. But a series of recent accidents in Florida is forcing some communities to reconsider the longstanding tradition. CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve reports. Security camera video captures the moment this Jeep Grand Cherokee drove over a sand dune and hit a sunbather on Amelia Island, Florida in May. And she's not the only one. Nassau County 911, where's your emergency? I just got ran over. My legs just got ran over by a white Jeep that's cooling out right now. Just weeks earlier, Amanda Gonzalez was laying a mile up the same beach when she too was run over by a different Jeep. The mother of two is still recovering from injuries to her legs and back. Gonzalez wants vehicles off the beach. I felt a lot of pain. I sat up and I come nose to tire with a Jeep. A third vehicle driving at night ran over a well-marked endangered sea turtle nest like this one. Nassau County, home to Amelia Island, charges $5 a day for visitors to take a vehicle on the beach. It's preposterous. Lawyer John Phillips has represented six women in the last seven years who are run over while sunbathing on Florida beaches. He says he's identified more than 40 other incidents in Florida alone. Letting pedestrian vehicles on a beach seems to be driven by almost antiquated yore. And I mean, their grandfathers drove on the beach, so they're going to drive on a beach. At least a dozen states allow some form of beach driving. And while deaths are uncommon, they have happened and accidents are not well tracked. The city of Fernadina Beach tightened its beach regulations and police now encourage sunbathers not to lay in the area open to vehicles. Calling to order. Local officials are weighing whether to make the beaches car free. But that's controversial with residents and tourists like Linda Berry and her daughter who drove hours specifically to park on this stretch of sand. We came out here yesterday sand, yeah. straight to the beach and she had never drove on the beach so yeah, that was nice. Cars and people continue to share the beach here in Amelia Island as both the county and city really struggle with what to do to try to make the practice safer. Chris Van Cleve, Amelia Island, Florida.